Divisional Goods. Divisional Goods. Yo, yo, man, what's good with you, my guy? We here. What's good, man? What's man? It's Go Talk with my guy, Sick with it. Know the move before the move. We man, it, baby. Man, we long overdue for this one, my boy. Yeah, we are. Long overdue for this one. Definitely. 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 So, so, you know, I ain't want to I ain't wanna take none of your shine, so I'm letting you be on the camera by yourself. With that. You feel oh, what I'm saying? shit, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, we putting the focus on you, you feel me? Oh, we focused. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You know Three lightning bolts. That's yeah. right. You got to keep the metaphor even when you don't keep the metaphor. You feel me? Nah, I feel you. Nah, man. But yeah, so, uh, so man, we're going to jump right into it, my guy. Um, first of all, let them know what you do and all that, where you from, all that. True, bro. Hey, man, I go by sick with it, man. I'm an artist, I do music, got a clothing line, Focus, from Brooklyn, New York, repping Clanton, Alabama also. Man, we out here, bro, we getting it up. Got to know the move before the move, that's what it is, bro. Okay, 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 sick with it. Tell them, <laughs> tell them how the name sick with it came about. Ah, uh, man, really, bro, sick with it just came from like anything I did or anything I've ever put my mind to, bro, I do it to the best of my ability. And shit, that's why I'm sick with it. You know what I mean? I'm going to refer if it's basketball, football, tennis, air hockey. I'm going to go damn with it, boy, you heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts, facts. Okay. Okay. So let's take it back. Let's take it back. Okay. What's your earliest memory of, like, doing the music? Like, that you get, get like, your earliest memory of you, like, first starting with the music? Like, what age? Like, what was you doing? Do you remember that moment? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I was probably, like, around 11 or 12, something like that, bro. Uh, back home in New York, in Brooklyn. Uh, I used to, I used to, um, Watch my uncle write raps and write and really like rap and go off the head sometime and shit, bro. And I just kind of like got interested in it and whatnot. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And um, it just what it was. To be one hundred, bro. I ain't never really tell too many people this though, but but my goal was always to be better than that nigga. You feel me? <laughs> and I love you, nigga. Sparks, um, I love you, boy. Still to this day, he just hard. You know what I'm awesome saying? One, yeah. one. Real talk. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, so that, that's what it was, man. Right. Yeah, so, okay, okay. Um, okay, so do you feel like, so what really, okay, that made you, that was your first memory of you starting to do it, but like, what made you really take the next step and really get into the music for real? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because like, that made you start, that started you. Uh -huh. You start freestyle and stuff like that, but what made you say, you know what? I really want to do this for a living type shit. Ah, shit, bro. I tell you what, like, really, when I started seeing bread off of it, to be honest with you, bro, yeah. like, you know, the distro kid and just, like, people actually streaming your music yeah. and you seeing a little bit of this and a little bit of that, yeah. and then you seeing them little checks every three months come from BMI, you know, 110, 150, up to 300 every other, you know, three months quarterly, mm -hmm. you know, that shit kind of give motivation, you yeah. know what I mean? And you can put that bread to the trust fund yeah. for my little man and all that. So then I was like, shit, it's time to go. And then actually getting paid for shows. Right. You right. feel me? Okay. Like that, that's that's okay. what I'm So what do, you, what do you, like, who do you feel like are some of your biggest influences? That's what I'm trying to like, music artists? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 well, even be people that's, that's actually do music or people that don't do music too. Like, oh, okay. Well, um... Just keeping it, keeping it a buck, bro. Like, uh, Meek Mill. A lot of people compare me to Meek Mill. You feel me? Because of the energy, and I understand that. He from Philly. I'm from Brooklyn. I know it's two different things. But, like, the way I rap and the way he kind of rap, it kind of, you know, can sound a little similar or whatever. But at the end of the day, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I fuck with you, Meek, but I, I eat that nigga up. You hear me? I eat that nigga for lunch. Just being honest, you feel me? That's just how I feel about me, but, like, He's one of my influences, though. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Meek mm -hmm. Mills, uh, I fuck with Lil Baby, Money Bad Yo. Um, you know, just a couple people, bro. And it's not just because of the music, it's because of what they're doing outside of the music, because of the grind, period. Like the clothing line and everything mixed into it, because there's more money out there than just streams and shit like that. You know, right. once you're building a brand, you gotta put it all together. Right, right. Okay, okay. So I know you kind of said a lot of people say you and Meek Mill styles are a little similar. Like, how would you really describe your style? Like, uh, aggressive. I ain't gonna lie, aggressive as hell. Sometimes, like, I feel like I had to, like, not really dumb it down, but I had to, like, just put it down just a notch because it's like, damn, you know, you going metaphor for metaphor for metaphor, the shit be going over people's head. But at the end of the day, it's kind of like, I can't not, not rap. Right. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, when the drill scene came, 
Everybody was like, damn, okay. They was expecting a nigga to be on some like Fabio or whoever. Mm-hmm. But shit, nigga, I just put my own twist on the beats. Right. Actually, rap, rap. Right. And now, you know, nigga, start fucking with that. Yeah. Man, shout out to the visual goat because that nigga got you on the advantage. Man, shout out to the visual goat. You know what I'm saying? That's my brother, man. That's real, bro. That's my brother, man. Shout out to the visual goat. I don't like taking no shit for that. But, uh, day one. Day one. But, you know, uh, yeah, 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 I just had to throw this in just to laugh a little bit. But anyway, um, so is there any certain particular themes or messages that you like put out in your music that you want people to grasp? Yeah, man. Um, put your heart and your soul in everything that you do, bro, no matter what it is. You get what I'm saying? If your music makes sense, bro, the sense will come through and make sense for it. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, everything doesn't always have to be uh, shoot them up, kill them, bang, bang, this down the third. You feel me? Like you can put your heart on your tracks and that actually can draw people in. You feel me? Like that letter to G-Paw, it actually, you know, uh, expanded my fan base and the horizon. You feel me? I've seen a lot of people draw into that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it's like, you know, whatever you do, bro, just give it your all, bro, and keep that shit out of it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? As it, as it should be. So mm-hmm. what what do you feel like is your most famous song? Uh, Win or Lose. <laughs> Win or Lose, I ain't gonna lie. And to be why, honest, bro. Why you feel like that? I'm gonna tell you, bro. Like, this shit crazy, bro. I would like to say it'd be it's because of the verses and you know the hook and all that. It is, but mostly and mainly, bro, it's the video. You went to another yeah. the video. <laughs> it's the video. The video made that thing go up to a hundred plus K quick. Like, they like what they see in the video. When y'all get a chance, go check it out, man. Sick with it, win or lose. It, they love the video, bro, but I ain't gonna hold you. Like, I, I know for a fact, like, I went stupid on that shit, bro. So, but, like, okay, a lot of people don't know because they don't know the information that I know, right? So, mm-hmm. what 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 was the story behind one of those, like, the reason that you made the song? Oh, like I was telling you, bro, like, I kept hearing different drill songs and this, that, and the third, but it wasn't shit, like, catchy to the point where it's like, I'm hearing niggas really go off, mm-hmm. like, Ball for ball. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I kept hearing shit and it was like, you know, you hear a word or two and the niggas will stop and let the beat keep playing and then come back. And it was like these little two second, three second songs. So I said, the hell with it, bro. You know, boom. I linked up with my man 3Q from Ghana. Shout out to 3Q. You feel me? And then shit, we just did the exclusive rights the whole nine. And it's just the beat. I was drawn to the beat. And then we just went from there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, what I mean though is the the meaning behind your lyrics. Like, what was the? Oh history? shit! I was yeah. letting these I was letting these niggas know I was here. Yeah, yeah. Straight up, nigga. Yeah. Win or lose, nigga. I'm here, bro. Yeah. Win, lose, or draw, bitch. I'm right here. Yeah. You feel me? I ain't going nowhere, nigga. But nigga thought I was gone, bro. Something wrong with them, bro. Yeah. Sleep was the new broke, and I'm woke. Yes, yeah, sir. Steve. Okay. Um. What do you feel like is the hardest thing about being an artist? The hardest thing, bro. I ain't gonna hold you like. It's drawing in your support. It's drawing in your support. Cause it's like, okay, boom. When people start, when people see you out and then they see you on the move, that's when they support you more. You feel me? Like people can see me uh, a million times a day. This is on the third. You know, we everything is cool, bro. Like I ain't got no problem with nobody. Everybody show me love because I show love. It's like the aura. Like I ain't got no bad aura in me, so I don't get that back. You get what I'm saying? The energy that you take out. In the, in the atmosphere, I believe it's gonna come back to you. You feel me? Right. So um, it's really, bro, just getting people to continuously be with you and believe in what you're doing, rather than you gotta see me at South by Southwest to go and listen to my music right. when I've been sitting here promoting it for months, mm. and now all of a sudden you just hit me up and like, bro, that shit hard. I still gonna appreciate it, but it's like, damn, you feel me? That shit came out three years ago. Yeah. You know, it, it takes that sometimes for people to really, like, listen to you. They're like, damn, okay, boom. Just like we did, bro. We went to North Carolina. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Georgia. You know, just, just going different places. Right. I mean, South Carolina. You know, just going different places, moving around. Mm-hmm. But the more mobile you are, you know, it's understood, though. You feel yeah, me? It's yeah. understood. It's beneficial. Yeah. But that's the hardest part, bro. It's just, like, drawing in your support system. And any rapper will tell you that. Even a big artist, like, you feel me? Yeah. Okay, so what do you feel like is the best thing about being an artist? Going the fuck off on these beats. <laughs> <laughs> Going the fuck off on these beats. Right. You feel me? Right. Uh, uh, being a brand ambassador for, 
for different people, bro, like, you know, different color lines and the whole nine, bro, like, it's a lot of perks that come with it, too, man. Shout out to Mazzino. Shout out to Forever Eating. You get what I'm saying, man? Shout out to a lot of the people out there, man, that support me and that rock with me. You feel me? Real talk. All right. Uh, what do you see yourself in five years with this music? Shit, I'm at the top. I'm in the mansion. I'm somewhere on the hills. Covered up. Beverly. Can't lie to you, bro. For real, for real. Straight up. I, I, I see I see this shit going, bro. Like, my, my little man, bro, he young. You feel me? Yeah. I see this shit going to the point where he ain't got to work no nine to five. He gonna be set straight. His kids gonna be set straight. They kids gonna be set straight. And everybody gonna be looking like, damn, you feel me? So when I'm out of here and I'm gone, they still gonna carry on, but the legacy is never dies. You know what I'm saying? So I'm preparing him now for everything. You know what I mean? Little do people know, like, he, he be rapping and spitting too. Yeah. For real, for real. You know, he just gotta come out of his shell. Yeah, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Let me get that, let me get that. Oh, yeah, fine. Yeah. Um, what, what, what do you feel like are your goals for as far as your music? Bro, my goals, bro, I feel like, honestly, I want to do more shows. I want to be in a bigger plateau. You feel me? As far as uh, not just musically, bro, but like I want to enter the the whole like uh, acting realm and the whole nine yards, bro. You know, you catch me in a couple clips on uh, fucking Power or BMF or some shit like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just, you know, starting out. Even some Tubi movies or something. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. don't, don't worry, bro. We reaching out, bro. We, we making moves. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely see it, though, like, just expanding the horizon, bro. Okay. But what, what advice would you give any upcoming artist that's trying to get to the level that you are? Man, um, never give up, bro. And, uh, don't like, don't disappoint yourself. Because at the end of the day, like you can throw out, throw it out there to a million artists, like, hey man, you know, I need a feature, this done the third, you might not have the bread for it right then and then. If people talking money, you gotta you gotta sit back and respect and understand that at, at one point in time, bro, you know, those people, you know, they wasn't charging or they was charging less or however the case is going. You get what I'm saying? So you can't really like be like, damn, he acting like this, he acting like that. You know, everybody got their time and everybody got their tag, everybody got their price. So that was something that I had to realize also, bro. Like, a lot of people don't know this, bro, and I'm just gonna put it out there now because we rocking with the GOAT. Yeah. Um, man, I had, a, I had an opportunity, bro, to get on a feature with uh, No Cap. Mm -hmm. No Cap, no lie, bro. This was years ago for like $500, $600 on a feature. Yeah. But the thing is, bro, at that point in time, I feel like the way, the way I was rapping, just rapping, mm -hmm. it didn't coincide. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, because but he, then, he more auto to him. But yeah, more and, and, exactly, yeah, it didn't yeah, coincide. Yeah, so yeah, at the end of the know. day, I couldn't like be like, okay, boom, let me just throw this 600 out here and just see whatever come back. If he he's even going to match whatever beat that I send, you get what I'm saying? Instead of like really just trying to, that right there made me try and go outside of the box and like I started getting into the auto tune a little bit and different beats and just trying different things being more versatile because guess what the fuck happened after that bro that 600 turned into like 10 12 thousand quick because mm -hmm. yep. guess what bro right after that I kid you not Lil Baby came out with that my turn yeah and the nigga was on that album I was like oh shit that shit hard blew up. dreams to reality yep. remember that shit yep Okay. That shit was hard, bro. And then it was like, boom, I called back. Uh, oh, boy still had the same number. But the tag was so different. Yeah. The yeah. tag was so different. Well, yeah, see, when I had that message for so long, yeah. I was like, let me delete this shit. I gotta get this shit out of my yeah. Like, you know, knowing we know now, like, what you, what you could have did at that time was, hey, it was a beat. Just go ahead and put a hook on that. Man, who you telling? Yeah, I should have just did it. Yeah. It makes you think like that. You think about it, bro. Like, even, even artists that use auto tune, if they have a, a, a hard bar rapper coming on the verse, it's just something about the aesthetic that just hit. Because mm -hmm. it's like, dang, they were doing a tune. Now they came straight in with bars. Like, right, right. Oh, right. you feel me? And I, uh, I, you I did regret that it. I regret it to this day. <laughs> I do, but it was a wake up call. Because it was like, you know what, bro? Now it's time to turn up and get more versatile. Yeah. You feel me? So it's like, I, I wasn't really mad about it. I was just like, damn, that shit happened quick. And I kid you not, it was within like four or five months yeah. prior to me messaging him. I just messaged him off the off the whoop. Like, okay. because I had heard that, um, I forgot the name of it, but I seen the video when he was standing with the mic 
and it was like I guess behind a church or abandoned church or something yeah. like that. I forgot the name of the song, yeah, I but it I, I was like, damn, that shit hard, yeah. and that's what made me even reach out. Yep, yeah, that's fair. So how do you like what at this point that you're at now? What keeps you motivated and inspired to make music? Like, shit, my son. <coughs> yeah, my son, my son, my little man, my family. Okay, you feel me? That's 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 understandable there, man. Um, so, yeah. what do you like to do outside of your outside of the music, like your free time? Shit, I'm with the fam, bro. Okay, I'm yeah. with the fam, bro, all yeah. day, every day. Yeah, you know? yeah, I feel you. I feel you for real, boy. I'm with the wifey, with the little man. It, it should be with my it. Frenchie. <laughs> you feel me? Like just living, living ordinary life. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Okay. So, how do you deal with like all the haters and trolls on the internet? Should I be laughing at them niggas? Because at the end of the day, it's always subliminal. Yeah. It's never like directly. It's yeah. never right at you. That's you feel me? It's like, it's it's so slight to the point where it's like, okay, well, I appreciate the fact that you feel that way, but mm-hmm. I mean, now what? Right. Nah. You know, what's next? That's you feel right. me? Because that's not 10. It'll be the same motherfucker that hit you up and want you to do something wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'll be like, yeah, sure, right. okay, that's cool. Yeah, Nigga, right. I, I, caught, I caught the slick shot. But I ain't even gotta throw it back. Mm-hmm. Like I hold that, I hold that for the next slingshot. Yep, that's a fact. You know what I mean? I don't even be tripping on that shit. That's a fact. Okay. All right. Okay. I feel like Mayno when it come down to that. Remember that shit? Yeah. Hi hater. Yeah, yeah. Hi hater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see me? Hi hater. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking, I was thinking, you know, serum. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was thinking when I said, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, the big old hater. He, he, big old hater. Yeah. Yeah. You remember? Big old hater. You need to have. Sick with it on the end. We ate that. <laughs> we ate that. But yeah, um, okay, so is it something that you want to tell the people that they would be surprised to know about you? Like, for example, one of the artists I had on here previously, he said people would be surprised that he might cook. Like, what would be yours that people would be surprised to know about Sick with? Damn. Like, like would they be surprised like, about? Like, something that they don't know about you, like, you as an artist, that they'd be surprised to know, like, like let's say you're an artist and you cut hair, or let's say you're an artist and you, you know what I'm saying. Like some they just don't know that they wouldn't think like, oh man, I ain't, you know how to tap dance. I ain't really never thought you know how to tap dance. You know what I'm saying? Like it can just be some random. Like you know what I'm saying? It don't have to be nothing major. For real? Yeah. Now you now you think think of nah, I don't know. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Like everybody really ain't nothing like it. Okay. Think okay. about the muscles. Well, mate, I don't know. Like I can't say nothing about the dog because. I post that little nigga every day. So yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. I take them niggas to the groomers. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? I treat him like a little boy. You feel me? Okay. Yeah. Tell him yeah. sit his ass in the car seat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> there. Well, there. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes of this young. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. What's up on the project, man? What's up on the What's up on the album, man? What's up on the singles, man? What's up? God, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Say nigga, nigga be playing, man. What's up, nigga? I can't lie. What's coming out, nigga? What's coming? I'm about to come out the vault. I'm about to come out the vault, out the revolt. You hear me? Uh-huh. We getting ready to do this shit, bro. I got an album called Seagulls the New Broke. Also got Seagulls the New Broke Deluxe. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Me and my brother, you. You heard me? We got that sick goat. We getting ready to push it a little bit more. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And bro, when I tell you, bro, it's just projects on top of projects, man. Yeah. Bro. You feel me? And I mean, can we get a date? Yeah, man. A date? Um, Damn. Nah, we got to save the date. I can't lie, because um, it's a lot of new projects about to be on the way, too, bro. You know? We got um, Gemini in the cut. You got to know the move, nigga. Like, yeah, 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 it's yeah. crazy, bro. Like, bro, people don't realize, bro, it's a lot. It's a lot of... Um, Music out there, and one thing I was always told, bro, like, music never dies, and it's the truth. Bro. Yeah, yeah, it's the truth. Music never dies. If I if I really like told told y'all like uh, how many songs, how many albums, how many anything that I got in the vault, bro, y'all would be like, damn, like what you waiting on? Just like you said, like what you waiting on? But one thing I learned, everything is timing, bro. Everything is timing because. Once you sit there and just start dropping, 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 and ain't nobody paying attention, it's hard to like backtrack and redrop. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So shit, you, you just like that right song gonna have to catch them, twist them up, and lure them all the way in yeah. to the fact that where now they on you. 
Yeah, nah. But I can guarantee you, bro, like half these artists that's out there now, bro, all them songs is probably like five, six years old. Yeah. We just don't know. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. feel like the niggas just in there dropping, 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 but they've been in there putting work in, working, yeah. working. I mean, and now when it's time to drop, you're like, Ooh. a lot of them, a lot of them, they're just like, they won't do nothing for three months besides be in the studio and come up with a hundred songs. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Now you got five years worth of music in three months. That's right. That's right. right. You know, we we actually, you know, us on a smaller level, we don't have the budget they have to be able to just have time to do that. You know what I'm saying? But one thing we do got though, we got the studio. Yeah. <laughs> we got the studio now, yeah. you feel me? Well, yeah. but, um, but you know, you know, they don't, you know, they, they might not have kids or they might have to have they might not have no job and all that, you feel me? So it's other things that we have to factor in that they don't have to factor in, you feel me? Right? That makes it hard on yeah. us. So um all right, we're gonna speed it up a little bit. All right, which artists would you feel like you wanna collaborate with in the future? Like you can name me a big time artist, you can name me an artist that's not in big. Like who 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 I really like want to get on a song with? Yeah, yeah. Shit. That shit might sound crazy, bro, but uh I think I think uh Jada kids would give a nigga a run for his money. Mm-hmm. I think he give me a run for my money. But I know my money good, nigga, so I'll be right there with him. Yeah. You feel me? Like I just I just know, bro, it's just something about about how that nigga just attack. You get what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. So um, you know, like Jada. I can see, I can see me, just cause, yeah, yeah, just cause, yeah. I can see me, like just cause, you feel me? So then they can say, oh, okay, which one is which, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, Okay. Yeah. Shit, just really like, you know, them two, you know. Okay, okay. Two. Cool. All right, um, what do you feel like is the best advice anyone has ever given you as far as in music? Like, yeah. Man, nigga told me stay down until you come up, for real, for real, bro. Real shit, cause I mean it, like you said, bro. Like life, life comes in and factors, and you know that shit get hard. You know some people don't be realizing, bro. Like a lot of these niggas ain't out here just making that depression music for your, for your entertainment. These mm-hmm. niggas is really going through this shit. Like we, we as artists, we really go through shit, bro. Like everyday life. And when I say go through shit, I'm not just talking about we just go through shit to pop pills, to smoke weed, to to drink lean and all this down the third. I'm just saying, bro, that we human just like the next human. Yeah. But it just so happens that, you know, we coming a little harder with something else. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just like everyday life shit, so. Okay. Okay. All right, so, uh, you know, uh, where where can the fans support you? Like, you know, like, what can they donate to you? What can they listen to your music? All that. Like, let them know what's up. Oh, okay, true. Um, Y'all can go subscribe to my channel, bro. Sick with it, GMB mm-hmm. on YouTube. Uh, y'all can follow me on all platforms, all um, social media. Sick with it, GMB. As soon as you type in Sick with it, it's gonna pop up. You feel me? Like your boy is definitely official now. You heard? Like we out there. I ain't got that blue check, nigga, but them blues still here. You feel me? Yeah, but um, yeah. Uh, the oh, donate, the donate. I don't know what they can donate. Uh, but. You know, we got cash apps everywhere. Yeah. You feel me? So they can just contact you on like Instagram or something if they want to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always, bro. You know, that'd be cool and all, you know? I just, I just like to ask because, you know, there'd be people out there that want to support, but right. they don't know how to support. They don't be want to ask. They just be wanting to be able to do it. Be able to do it, yeah. So, uh, cash, uh, hash, or whatever, not cash, hashtag, cash tag. What is it? The dollar sign. <laughs> yeah. Dollar sign, uh, Malbo24. M A L B O 24. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you'll see the Frenchie up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how you know what I mean. They got it, they got it. Um, so, um, I, you know, I know that you got your own code line. Uh, Focus. That's right. Saying. Um, just real quick, you know, I know that you got another merch on the day, so tell, tell us oh, about yeah. Tell us about who made that, where it came from. So, man, man, big facts, bro. This right here, man. That's my partner, man. From Opelika, Alabama. Forever eating Rico. Go follow that man, CEO Forever Eating on Instagram. You feel me? On the book, the whole nine yards. You feel me? He, he definitely did this stuff. Okay. okay. He hard. He hard. Yeah, shout out, shout out to Rico King. Shout out to Rico. He okay. hard. Shout out to Rico. Shout out to Rico. All right. So, um, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna end it right there. But so I'm gonna ask this last little thing before we get about it. Here. True. Um. Is there anything else that you want to share with the with your fans or with people that's that don't know you yet that's trying to become a fan of you? Like what is there anything you want to share with them right quick? 
Yeah, yeah. Now you want to say to him? They want to know what I said. Yeah, I'm going to say this. And then we're going to walk off from this right here. Nigga, I'm coming. I'm coming. Sleep is the new broke, and I'm woke. You hear me? And if y'all niggas was ever asleep, I'm about to wake y'all the fuck up. You understand me? About to put this goddamn foot on that pedal, and I ain't coming off. I'm like, y'all know that now, bro. That's from here until the, to, until the end of time. You understand me? From this motherfucking day forward, that's all you're going to see is me, bro. Real talk, man. If you support me, man, I appreciate you. I got number of love for you. If you don't support me, I appreciate you. I ain't got number of love for you. You understand? But when you see me out there, please, no fake love. Keep that shit. Hold that shit. Sell that shit to somebody else. But we out here, boy. Sick with it. We good, boy. Go talk. Yes, sir.